Hey guys, a warm welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're back on the boxer build. We're continuing the strip down on this. As you can see over my shoulder, the pile of parts is just continuously growing on this one. Anyway, so far so good. Uh, nothing at the back of the car on the frame uh, that was unsuspected there. That's quite an easy one. We're gonna strip that back down and uh, respray all that. We're working on the front today and also the engine. The engine needs to be all stripped down, ready for ice blasting as well. So let's crack on. Fingers crossed we don't find anything that we don't want to see. So as you can see at the front of the car, we have most of it stripped out. Now we're back to frame, a little bit more to do up the top here, a few more little components up there, a little bit down there. But the front section, apart from taking off the front clamp, is back to frame. And as you can see, well, we have got a little bit of a problem here, some areas that we're gonna need to address, um, some framework, and then this little section, this is the bit where our radiator sits down here, it sits on this bracket. And apparently it's quite common, these things do rust out. Uh, what we have here is tow hook that comes in from the front of the car there, and four little uh, nuts here that hold the lower valance on, it'll help hold the lower valance on. So we need to refabricate that. The rest of this section is actually solid. The other thing is the uh, little battery tray here. It's just some uh, bracket as well that just needs to be uh, remade. That's very simple. This is very simple. We're gonna measure that up now. This is the bit that's gonna be a little bit more complex, but we've got plenty of pictures uh, that we can use to make this correctly. To be fair, I am not surprised. I thought there was gonna be a lot more rust on this car. The other areas, obviously, the back, just a little bit of surface rust as I've shown you in previous videos. Nothing else has been uncovered here. This back area is solid. Started to grind out some of the areas there. Uh, and the, 
unknown area on this car was really all the midsection here. Now, there was a little trick that we can use. And if you take out the ashtray, you can see through there and you can see all of the uh, framework. Now, the great news is I've taken out this one, I've taken out the other side, and it is solid as a rock down there. There is not one bit of evidence of any rust. So I've got to admit, I was expecting something down there as well. And I'm very, very happy with that. The areas that we have uncovered, obviously the box section down there, very common. It wouldn't surprise me if there are boxes out there that look very nice that have rust in that area. And then we've got another little panel just here. I've covered up with some tape because that obviously uh, goes into the uh, cabin of the car. So we just got a square little plate that needs to uh, go in there. Again, a common area that goes on these cars. So we got this bit, we've got the battery tray and we got the front section. Finally, I have managed to get the uh, pedal box all free. I had to split it from the servo and there was a split pin just in here. It was buried around there and it's honestly taken me two hours to get this thing out. Anyway, it's out, it's ready. So we're almost there on the strip down on the front of the car. A few little bits left, some pipe work, uh, the wiring loom, everything is loose. It can all be moved out of the way. Um, brake pipes, they've got to come off, but all of the components are off. There's one more final thing to do, and that is remove these wheel arches. Now, I'd left them in place because I thought that the back part here actually was ex would expose the cabin. That is the case on the Testarossa, but looking closely, I didn't bother actually even thinking about this, but down here, we got another panel. So this is actually, in fact, separate. So we're gonna remove this. That will give us full access to the frame. This, I believe, is a cabin. This will stay. But all of this, we can then see all of the frame, as you can see on the other side there. Oh yeah, that's better. And there you go. I actually wasn't sure with this whether someone had cut this panel in at some time, but clearly, as you can see, we've got the tabs on the frame here, all the bits here correctly. That is how it comes from factory. So that lovely globule of uh, sticker flex down here, <laughs> that's just how it's made, which is crazy. Again, you can see the frame here, completely solid, which is brilliant news, uh, both parts here and here. So all of our issues are really at the front of the car, which is great because that is the most accessible part. The other thing I've just got to point out before this all goes back as it was at factory, is all of this stuff here. We looked at the globules there. This is all around the frame here. And then if you come up here, look at these bits here. This is just loop. It's just uh, been done all at factory here. There's a bit of uh, spiderweb, but all of that, that is all sticker flex. Same here. All of this here, I've just uh, just removed this bit over here. But you can just see, there is just sticker flex everywhere. You know, if there was a gap, there's a massive bit of sticker flex. My real job around here is actually this. Done. This week on Rata Rosso, we're upgrading the Nissan Navara with a Ferrari 12 cylinder engine to give it a bit more beef. <laughs> this is my rear view, guys. A 12 cylinder Ferrari engine. It's just like being in the 360. You can see the engine in the back there through the rear screen. <laughs>
we're cracking on here. It's not quite ready to go in place, it's just being stored there, but look at this. Racks and racks of everything that's come off the car, and then that needs to be stripped down even further. All of the stuff here, all of the stuff here, and a load more stuff back at home. With a rebuild project like this, there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes, things such as finding the right parts. Now I've just missed out on an original set of exhaust manifolds from the US simply because the shipping price was extortionate. Now I'm kicking myself because the actual price of the parts was really, really good and I'm not gonna get an opportunity like that again. The other thing is researching things such as the rusted frame damage. Ferrari stopped selling those kind of parts many, many years ago, so I have no choice but to fabricate those myself. I've reached out to other owners of boxes that have done similar projects. They are some very cool people out there willing to share uh, pictures, videos, or even let me see the cars. And one guy in particular has done a similar build, taken the boxer down to the frame. It's a 365, it's a 1974 car. And the cool thing about it, was it was actually 3D scanned. Check this out. Now when you discover rust on a Ferrari project like this, it's a heart stopping moment. So having these 3D scans of the whole chassis that Jonathan from Precent has created really will help. I'll put a link to his website in the description below the video. Go and check out some of the cool stuff that he's done. Unfortunately, however, this was scanned from a very early 1974-365BB and Ferrari made a few changes throughout the generations of Boxer and my 1983BBI is slightly different at the front here you can see there is actually no box section that the radiator sits on so fortunately though there are other owners that have been helping me out they videoed it they sent me some pictures and I'm going to be able to fabricate that with the exact dimensions so let's crack on and start fixing the boxer up. So we're starting to get back on the front here. It's looking pretty good. And this is what I've just swept up. That's all come off the front. The rest of it is probably in my lungs. <laughs> Breathe it.
Well guys, I'm very happy with how this has turned out. We've got the panel in here. The battery tray is all done now. Let's do a little test fit here. Perfect. One more thing to do on this. I need to get some bar, some threaded bar, and uh, just weld two of those up there. We need to make a bracket, I presume, up there. I need to just do a little bit of research how that uh, fits here. Is that the outside or the inside? And what is the actual bar on the top? Then we're on to, I've left the best till last, obviously. We've got to fabricate this box here. We have got the bar already. Where's our bar? Here it is. <laughs> right in front of me. So that is our bar that we are going to cut. We're going to put in there, two sides. There's also a little section that goes and joins them in the middle. And then we need to uh, make this. So that is my job tomorrow morning. Well guys, there you go. That is it for this week. I'm in the car at the moment because it's the only place I can find that's quite enough to actually film. Anyway, this is the part of the build that is very demoralizing. It just takes so long to do all these things, to strip all that frame and then to discover a big bit of rust at the front that we need to rectify. It just feels like it's never ending. Anyway, it is happening, it is progressing. I've just got to keep pushing. We've got the uh, paint all strip off next. Uh, I'm trying to keep all the cabin here secure until the very last bit where uh, we can then probably have to strip all this out. Anyway, I, uh, I'm gonna crack on tomorrow. I've got a couple more days I reckon on the frame and then hopefully we'll start that upward journey of the rebuild. The parts out there are mounting massively. Uh, I've got them there, I've got them in the garage at home, and um, I've got to remember how to put them back on this car. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget you can check out what I get up to on a daily basis over on my Instagram, where I'm posting stuff that goes on around this place, which is quite interesting, even though it's very noisy. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you very shortly in the next one. Ciao for now.